see that one Eid al-Fitr 2020 has been cancelled. Due to the coronavirus, it is an unprecedented situation. So please stay home, stay safe, be well. But Islam is a perfect deen and it has a solution for everything. And we have a solution for you. The deen of Islam is perfect. It has a solution for every situation. And this situation has been answered by shiyukh in the past, all the way back to the Prophet Muhammad What do you do if you miss Eid Salah? You know, you get to the Eid prayer, you show up, you come and you hear the Imam say, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah. That feeling, oh, I missed it. Majority of the Muslims don't know, you still have to pray Salat al-Eid, regardless if you miss the Jama'ah. So what do we do? So what do we do if we miss the Eid Salah? And in this situation, we're not going to go to the Eid Salah. But the majority of the fuqaha have said, even though there's a difference of opinion on the level of fard, it is a must that people pray Salat al-Eid. And the Salat al-Eid, how is it prayed? That's what we're going to talk about today. So first of all, it is two rak'ah. That's it. Just like when you go to the Eid Salah, you pray two rak'ah at home. So when you pray two rak'ah at home, how do you pray it? I'm going to give you a simple breakdown. Here we go. Right. So step one, this is what you do. First of all, the basics of the Eid prayer. As you remember, when you pray behind the Imam, he does a few takbirs, a little bit different, right? And then after he's finished, he has a khutbah. Well, at home, you do the same thing with your family. You have Eid Jama'ah at home with your family. They stand behind you. The man of the house leads the prayer and he leads the prayer, but there is no khutbah. It is only a salah. Women, my sisters, if there is no man in the house, then you pray individually on your own. And if there's nobody in the house and it's just one person, you pray Eid Salah on your own. Here we go. Step one, okay? Make the intention for the sake of Allah. This is Salat al-Eid. Do not confuse it with your Fajr prayer. You still have to pray Fajr. Don't miss it. And then you wait a couple of hours till it's morning and then you get ready with your family and your beautiful whites and your clothes, your beautiful colorful Eid Salah, everyone lined up with the family and you are in the front and you begin. There is no Adhan and there is no Iqama for Salat al-Eid. No Adhan, no Iqama. Step one, you make the intention. This is Salat al-Eid. Ya Allah, Allahu Akbar. This first Takbir, it is known as Takbiratul Ihram. Takbiratul Ihram, it is a pillar of your prayer and it must be done every rakah, every salah. You have to start off with Allahu Akbar to begin. Each salah is the same. You begin with Allahu Akbar. Now, you do your beginning dua and you start off with six more takbirah. So you've done the first one, Allahu Akbar. And now the Imam at the front carries on six more times. He says, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, and he carries on six times like that, okay? And he can get louder and louder and louder as was the sunnah. So you start off soft, Allahu Akbar, and then you get louder and louder to feel the beauty of saying Allah is the great. You pray Surah Al-Fatiha, and then you recite Surah Al-Ala, Sabbih Isma Rabbik Al-Ala. If you don't know it, it's okay. You can do any surah you do now. But the sunnah is Surah Al-Ala. And then you say, Allahu Akbar. And you go into ruku. You bow. And then you go into sujood. And you pray your two sajdas. And then you're ready to get back up. So then you stand up. Allahu Akbar. And you're in the second rakah. So in the second rakah, you have your first takbir that you stood up with. And you wait till everyone's standing. And then you go again. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And you do this five more times. So the first one, you stood back up and five more times. And the surahs you recite in the second rakah is Al-Fatiha again, just like the first one. But instead of Surah Al-A'la, the second time you do Surah Al-Ghashiyah, if you know it. If you don't, any surah will do in both rakah. So let's recap, okay? So the first rakah, you stood up and you began with Takbirat al-Ihram and then six more Takbirs. Total of seven. Second rakah, you stand up with Allahu Akbar and then five more Takbirs making it six. So first rakah seven, second rakah six. Start with seven, then six. 
And when that is complete, you go into ruku as normal. Samiyallahu liman hamida as normal. Allahu Akbar as normal. And then you finish, you go into ruku, you go into sujood, and you are finishing to say, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah. Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah. And the Eid Salah is complete with everyone behind you. Make dua, turn around, and say, Eid Mubarak, and embrace your wonderful family.